We are about to start a journey, an NBA journey from the year 2020 all the way to the year 2050, and along the way, we are going to see history unfold before us. How many championships does LeBron win? Who takes his throne after he retires? Will LaMelo Ball become an NBA legend or a massive bust? And is it possible? Will someone rise up and become the NBA's GOAT over LeBron or Jordan? These questions will be answered and more as we make our way to the year 2050. So what's up guys, Mike here, and yes, today we are going to find out what is the NBA going to look like in the year 2050, and trust me, some absolutely insane things happen. The thing is though, I'm planning on making this a four-part series so we can really deep dive into what happens. This episode is going to follow the years 2000 to the years 2023. The second episode is going to go all the way to the year 2030, but if you guys want that episode, I need to know you like this kind of video, so make sure to leave a like on this video right now. If we get 15,000 likes, episode two is going to be posted next Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern. Also, with that in mind, make sure you subscribe and turn post notifications on so you don't miss episode two or any other videos on this channel. And with that said, let's jump into it. Let's jump into episode one. Starting with the 2020 NBA season, we have Giannis as the MVP with Ja Morant as the rookie of the year, which means no major surprises for the main awards. But as you can see, Anthony Davis will miss the start of the playoffs due to an injury. So this could potentially change the entire outcome of the 2020 playoffs. Now looking at the all NBA first team, we did finish with James Harden, Luka Doncic, Giannis, LeBron, and Nicole. Nikola Jokic as the members of the first team All-NBA. That means that in just his second year in the league, Luka is already a member of the first team All-NBA, which is incredible. And as you could see on the All-NBA second team, there is Trey Young also in his second year in the league. You can be sure these guys are going to be major players as we continue on. Finishing off, here's the All-NBA third team, the defensive teams, and the rookie teams. At any point in this simulation, feel free to pause and check these players out. However, I can't focus on everyone because then this would become a four hour video. Anyway, as for the standings in the East, the Milwaukee Bucks lead the way with 65 wins and the Toronto Raptors check in with 61. Boston, Miami, and Philadelphia are all also major players here. And then in the West, there are no major surprises. The Grizzlies do edge out New Orleans for that coveted eight spot while the Kings finish somewhat respectable as well. As for the final stats, James Harden leads the league in points per game with 32.5 while Bradley Beal and Trey Young also scored at least 30 points a night. As for rebounds, Andre Drummond leads there, and LeBron James averages 10 assists a game for the first time in his career. And now, guys, it is officially at playoff time, and in the first round of the playoffs, the Nets are swept without Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. The Denver Nuggets beat the Utah Jazz. There is no miracle for the Memphis Grizzlies as they fall to the Lakers. The Celtics beat the Indiana Pacers, and in a somewhat shocking upset, even though Miami is seated higher, the Heat do go on to beat the Philadelphia 76ers as the combination of Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid seems to not be working in Philly. Now, this series did go to seven games, and we also have a couple other game sevens, including this one where the eight-seeded Orlando Magic keep things very, very close with the Milwaukee Bucks and even lead in the fourth quarter at one point, but ultimately, the Bucks would move on. Looking elsewhere, the Clippers and Thunder also would go to seven games, and despite 43 points from Dennis Schroeder, the Clippers would win this game 124 to 112. In the semifinals, Boston would sweep the Toronto Raptors and the Nuggets and Heat both fall. In this round, we do have one close series between Dallas and the Lakers, and at this point, Anthony Davis has come back from injury, and we are going to pick things up in Game 6 where Dallas has the lead. Now, as you can see, this rebound and monster dunk from Anthony Davis shows that his foot is probably fine now, but Luka would hit this clutch 3 to show that he has ice in his veins. Then, he blows right past Deion Waiters to slam home a wide open dunk, and after all of this, up 6 with under 2 minutes to go. It is again Luka who threads the needle to find a wide open JJ Barea, aka the man who gave LeBron fits in the NBA Finals nearly a decade ago. Ultimately, the Mavericks would win this game and the series, a series which included a 53.13 rebound, 12 assists,
greatest game five performance from Luka. However, after this massive upset, the Dallas Mavericks do fall short to Kawhi and the Clippers in the Western Conference Finals. In the Eastern Conference though, the Boston Celtics do upset Giannis and the Bucks behind 25 points, four rebounds, and four steals from Jason Tatum. And so in the NBA Finals, we have a series in which Doc Rivers is coaching against his former team, the Boston Celtics. At this point, we are going to go to game six where Kemba Walker is going to knock down a clutch mid-range jumper over Montrezl Harrell. And it looks like Jason Tatum could establish himself as a young superstar with a finals victory at the age of 22. And that is exactly what happens as up six with under a minute remaining. Kemba Walker does miss, but Ennis Kanter tips it in and that about does it. The Boston Celtics win their first NBA championship in over a decade. With this win, Kemba Walker is officially named the finals MVP. And I've got to say here, this is a truly shocking finals result to start this simulation. Life in the NBA, of course, does continue though. And Vince Carter, Paul Gasol, and Kyle Korver all retire. Then in the 2020 NBA draft lottery, the Golden State Warriors end up with the number one pick. With this pick, they do pass up on LaMelo Ball though to select Anthony Edwards. Then with pick number two, the Wizards select college player of the year, Obi Toppin. And it is the Portland Trailblazers who are now drafting number three, who take the chance and select LaMelo Ball, which is an interesting choice seeing as Portland already has a point guard in Damian Lillard. Moving on with this draft, Chicago selects French guard Killian Hayes and the Pistons pick James Wiseman fifth, giving Detroit the top big man in this draft. The Knicks then select hometown hero Cole Anthony number six, and the Hornets would end up picking Vernon Carney ninth. Wrapping things up, the Suns pick RJ Hampton 11th, Nico Mannion goes 20 to the Utah Jazz, and then in this summer's free agency, Anthony Davis is seriously being pursued by the Knicks and the Hawks in a very close race with the Lakers. However, ultimately Davis does decide to remain in LA, but let's now look at an absolutely shocking move as Brandon Ingram leaves the New Orleans Pelicans to sign with the Detroit Pistons, teaming him up with Derrick Rose, Blake Griffin, and James Wiseman. This was certainly unexpected and makes the Detroit Pistons a very interesting team. Finishing up free agency, Hassan Whiteside signs with the Toronto Raptors, and now let's jump to the middle of the 2021 season where Giannis is the favorite for MVP, but not too far behind are Luka Doncic and Steph Curry. LaMelo is also having a stellar rookie season for the Portland Trailblazers, as is Anthony Edwards for the Golden State Warriors. And taking a look at the All-Stars, Zion and Zach Levine both make their first All-Star appearance, and I could say with heavy certainty that this will not be the last appearance for Zion. Meanwhile, as the trade deadline approaches, we have a massive trade. The Philadelphia 76ers send Al Horford back to the Atlanta Hawks for Clint Capella, a move that is sure to make a difference come playoff time. This trade deadline also sees other NBA All-Stars moved, as John Wall is traded to the New York Knicks for Mitchell Robinson, a move that doesn't make a ton of sense for New York since they're a young team, but it appears they want a big name veteran. And finally, Draymond Green is traded to the San Antonio Spurs for LaMarcus Aldridge, making this trade deadline one of the more memorable we have seen in a recent league history. Now, finishing up with the regular season here, Giannis does go on to win his third straight MVP, while LaMelo Ball does live up to the hype in Portland, not only winning Rookie of the Year, but also Sixth Man of the Year as well. As for the All-NBA teams, on the first team, Steph Curry has an absolute resurgence and returns to the first team All-NBA. Joining him are Giannis, Luka, LeBron, and Jokic, four players who were all first team All-NBA last season too. On the second team, Ben Simmons leads the way with Harden, Pascal Siakam, who averaged 30 points per game this season, Kawhi Leonard, and the NBA's most improved player, Kristaps Porzingis. Then on the third team, we have Russell Westbrook, Kyrie Irving, Jimmy Butler, Anthony Davis, and Joel Embiid. And looking at the playoff picture for season one right now, guys, I want you to comment. Who do you think is going to make the NBA Finals and who is going to take home the championship? After you do that, let's now continue on. As for the standings here, Philly and Boston both earn 64 wins each, which definitely makes it seem like the Clint Capella trade is working out for Philadelphia. Also, in a bit of a surprise, the Cleveland Cavaliers rebound and make the 2021 playoffs. Trey Young also makes the playoffs for the first time in his career, and the Chicago Bulls also sneak into the playoffs with just 36 wins. Meanwhile, the Knicks are still not good. In the West, Steph Curry's re-emergence continues as the Warriors lead the way behind Curry, Thompson, and Anthony Edwards alongside the newly acquired LaMarcus Aldridge. Dallas and Luka are second in the West, and in a bit of a surprise, the Sacramento Kings make the playoffs for the first time since the mid-2000s with a 47 and 35 record. Meanwhile, the Lakers fall to just 44 wins, but still do make the playoffs, and New Orleans, led by Zion and Lonzo Ball, 
overall do make the playoffs for the first time in Zion and Lonzo's careers. However, Zion did have a torn MCL, but he is expected to return shortly. As for the final team stats, Pascal Siakam is the unlikely leader in points per game in 2021, and Steven Adams averages 16.6 rebounds per game. That is insane, and looking at assists, we have Steph and Lonzo tying for the lead, while Kawhi leads in steals and Torzingis leads in blocks. And so here we are, playoffs, season two, and again, comment down below who you think is going to make the finals and who you think is going to win the championship this year. After you have done that, let's now continue, and as you can see in the East, the Cavs, Magic, and Hawks are all eliminated, and now we jump to game six of Philadelphia and Chicago. The Bulls have a 96 to 94 lead in the fourth quarter, but Ben Simmons ties the game on this wide open dunk. Then again, we find Ben Simmons make a big play again, and suddenly the 76ers are up one. Finally, Tobias Harris puts the nail in the coffin here, and Philadelphia holds off Chicago from pulling a massive upset. Now in the West, we have Dallas and New Orleans who are in a close game six battle. The Pelicans are actually up three to two here, but the Mavs put the Pelicans away rather easily behind a 30.18 rebound, 11 assist triple double from who else but Luka Doncic. Spoiler alert, you are going to see a lot of massive games from Luka. As for now, in game seven, Dallas destroys New Orleans and advances. This sets up a semifinals matchup with the Lakers for a second straight season, where once again, Dallas beats the Los Angeles Lakers in six games. And at this point, having beat LeBron in the playoffs two years in a row, Luka has to be considered one of the top two or three players in this league. I say this because in the conference finals, Luka and company take care of the Golden State Warriors easily, while the Philadelphia 76ers have completely rebounded and now sweep the Milwaukee Bucks. Keep in mind, Giannis is a free agent in the offseason, so this puts his future with the Bucks in serious jeopardy. For now though, let's focus on the 2021 NBA Finals, where we have Philly versus Dallas. It is here we are going to jump to Game 6 with Philly up 3-2, despite an impressive performance from Luka. And as you can see, the Sixers are leading 115-99, to and all they have to do is hold on, which they do. The 76ers do dominate the rest of this game, and the Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid experiment in Philly officially becomes a success. Also, as you can see, Jaleel Okafor has rejoined the 76ers, cementing his legacy on this team as well. Finishing the 2021 season, Ben Simmons is your finals MVP, and now in the offseason, Jamal Crawford retires, as does Carmelo Anthony, marking the end of a Hall of Fame career. And interestingly enough, Denver decides to retire Carmelo's jersey while New York does not, something that would anger a lot, a lot, a lot of Knicks fans. Meanwhile, in the lottery, Knicks fans continue to be mad as they fall short of the number one pick, which goes to the Detroit Pistons. With this pick, the Pistons take six foot eight point guard Cade Cunningham, who teams with Brandon Ingram and James Wiseman. As for pick number two, the Jazz select Jonathan Kuminga, while the New York Knicks with the third pick select Jalen Green, a player who has been compared to Kobe Bryant by some. Moving away from the draft, we are now in free agency, and Giannis is one of the biggest free agents we have ever seen. He has max contract offers from Atlanta, Chicago, New York, Milwaukee, and Utah. And overall, in general, this is a star class with Kawhi, Jason Tatum, Paul George, and Donovan Mitchell all being free agents alongside De'Aaron Fox, John Collins, Bam, Andre Drummond, and Derek Rose. This means, of course, the NBA has the chance to completely change here, and things immediately begin to change as John Collins signs with Dallas to team up with Luka and Porzingis. Meanwhile, Michael Porter Jr. signs with the Pelicans to make a very exciting young core for New Orleans. Paul George, for some reason, signs with the San Antonio Spurs to team up with DeJounte Murray and DeMar DeRozan. And looking at the Atlanta Hawks, Giannis has decided to team up with Trey Young. A very, very interesting move, but I've got to say I'm very interested to see how good the Atlanta Hawks are able to become now. Wrapping up free agency here, Derrick Rose signs with the Orlando Magic, which means we are now in the 2022 season. And in 2022, there are no first-time All-Stars, but LeBron is playing in his 18th All-Star game in Cleveland, which will be very interesting. Luka is the current favorite for the MVP, with Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid not too far behind. Meanwhile, looking at a rookie here, with averages of 18.9 points, 7.6 assists, 6.6 rebounds, and 2 steals a game, Cade Cunningham has become one of the best rookies we have ever seen. However, as we can see, the rookie who is leading in points per game is Bull Bull, who is finally playing in the NBA on Sacramento and is averaging nearly 20 points per game. As for the trade deadline this year, we don't have as many major trades as last season. However, the Lakers do get Hassan Whiteside while 
Dennis Cantor and Karis LeVert are traded as well. Which brings us to award season, and here we go. Luka Doncic wins his first MVP at just 23 years old. And unsurprisingly, it is Cade Cunningham who wins the Rookie of the Year. Now, onto the All-NBA teams, we have Luka, Ben Simmons, Giannis, LeBron, and Jokic, who I feel like we have to highlight here as Jokic just made his third straight first team all nba appearance something that is very promising for nuggets fans meanwhile on the second team we have steph curry harden pascal siakam ad and porzingis and looking at the third team rookie cade cunningham does make the all nba third team which makes him the first rookie to make an all nba team since tim duncan in 1998 trust me when i say guys cade cunningham is going to become a big name as you can already see he is a star now though we are going to look at the 2022 standings and Philly and Boston lead the East once again while the Wizards improve to 49 wins. Detroit also makes the playoffs in Cade Cunningham's first season. Most shockingly however is the Atlanta Hawks missing the playoffs entirely with Giannis, Trey Young, and Daniel Theus. I'm not sure what happened here. The Hawks made the playoffs with John Collins so apparently the loss of John Collins was just too much. As for the West it is the Dallas Mavericks again leading the way while we have the Memphis Grizzlies also near the top as John Morant is now nearly a 90 overall. I've got to say though, looking at these standings, congrats to the Phoenix Suns for winning 50 games in their best season in a very long time. Rounding out the West here are the Los Angeles Lakers who secure the eighth seed and have been pretty disappointing so far. Will that change? We are about to see as in the playoffs, the New Orleans Pelicans are swept by the Phoenix Suns and the seventh seed Kings actually destroy the Grizzlies. Meanwhile, the Nets and Magic both fall short as do the Wizards and Jets. But most shockingly, the Lakers and Magic Mavericks meet in the playoffs again only for the top seeded Mavericks to be upset by the Lakers. This means that three out of the four matchups in the Western Conference this season were upsets. The Lakers then cruise past the Golden State Warriors to make the Western Conference Finals and the Phoenix Suns beat Sacramento in seven games behind 41 points by Devin Booker. As for the East, Philly and Boston both advance as expected. From there, the 76ers once again advance to the Finals while the Phoenix Suns went from not making the playoffs in what felt like forever to making their first NBA Finals appearance in 29 years. This means we have the Suns versus the 76ers, which also means at the age of 25, Devin Booker could win his first ring while the 76ers could start a dynasty with back-to-back -back championships. So now let's jump to game one where Phoenix has a slight lead. And here we see Devin Booker knock down a beautiful mid-range shot and then Jalen Johnson clinches this game. Unfortunately for Phoenix though, the 76ers do go on to win games two, three, and four, but in a must win game five, Devin Booker comes up huge with 37 points and seven threes, which means here we are in game six where Phoenix is leading late, but here is Shake Milton who hits a big time three to cut this lead. When it's all said and done though, this three does not matter as Phoenix does hold on. And now we're looking at a gigantic NBA finals game seven, where the Philadelphia 76ers do completely dominate. And this game was never even close. The process is over guys. Two straight championships means, like I said, this is is the start of a potential dynasty and apparently whether ben simmons can shoot or not does not matter as he went 14 for 16 from the field in game seven and is now unstoppable this brings us to the offseason where andre iguodala rudy gay and goran Dragic all retire as for the draft lottery here the chicago bulls catch a break and do end up with the number one pick this is big because emony bates is the most hyped up nba prospect since lebron james and so bates does end up going number one and as for free agency this season the big move we have is Kyrie Irving signing with the Charlotte Hornets. Throughout his career, Kyrie has proved to be somewhat of an odd character, and this is definitely an odd move. Also of note is Jaron Jackson Jr. leaving the Grizzlies to play for the Detroit Pistons. It is at this point because we've gone a few seasons that I do want to show the top players in the league. As we can see, Giannis and Luka are both 99s, and Steph Curry is still a 98 at 34 years old. Meanwhile, going down the list to number 10, LeBron is now just ranked the 10th best player as he is 37 years old. This brings us to the 2023 season and we are now looking at the all-star game that is in Salt Lake City. It is here that John Morant, James Wiseman, and DeAndre Aiden all make their first all-star games. As for the trade deadline here, the biggest move from the trade deadline other than Alex Caruso being traded is Steven Adams becoming a Toronto Raptor. Continuing on, we are again in award season and Luka does win his second straight MVP with averages of 31.1 points, 9.8 eight assists and 9.5 rebounds a game. Emony Bates wins rookie of the year. DeAndre Aiden wins most improved player with some 
pretty insane averages. And the first team all NBA is the same this season as 2022, except Anthony Davis replaces LeBron. LeBron is on the second team along with DeAndre Aiden, an interesting addition, while LaMelo Ball is named to the all NBA third team at just 21 years old. As for the standings, the Celtics, 76ers, and Wizards lead the Eastern Conference, but I want to highlight the Detroit Pistons who have a very scary young core. Just look at this team. Detroit has Brandon Ingram, Jaron Jackson Jr., James Wiseman, and Cade Cunningham, four players who are all under 25 years old. Wrapping up the East this year, Giannis and Trey do at least make the playoffs this time. As for the West, the New Orleans Pelicans earned the top record, setting up huge expectations heading into the 2023 playoffs. Of course, the Mavericks, Warriors, and Suns are all solid again, while LeBron does lead the Lakers to 48 wins, despite being 38 years old at this point. Before the playoffs, we are going to look at the league leaders, and Luka Doncic leads the league in points per game, while Lonzo Ball has become the top assist man in the entire NBA. As for his little brother, LaMelo actually leads the league in steals per game. This means we are now in the 2023 NBA playoffs, and it is here that Giannis and Trey Young prove they are just not right for each other. Because as you can see, the Hawks were swept in the first round. Meanwhile, Luka beats John Morant, the Kings advance, and we do have a few game sevens here. First, the 76ers are up against Kyrie Irving in the Charlotte Hornets, and Philly's hope of a three-peat does stay alive as they win by 10. Charlotte did have a very impressive performance from rookie Chris Livingston, though. Looking elsewhere, the Pelicans and Clippers are also in a Game 7 battle that the New Orleans Pelicans do ultimately win, led by 34 points from Michael Porter Jr. and 16 assists from Lonzo Ball. This sets them up with a semifinals matchup against the Los Angeles Lakers. But in this round, the most notable series comes with the Philadelphia 76ers versus the Washington Wizards as Philly's hope of a three-peat is dashed. They go down in five games and the Wizards advance to the Eastern Conference Finals. Also notable, I have to say, is that 38-year-old LeBron again continues to lead the Lakers in the playoffs. And as you can see, Los Angeles ends up in the Western Conference Finals. Now in the East, we have an intense series between the Celtics and the young Detroit Pistons where the score is now 119 to 118 with just over three minutes left. And although Jason Tatum is stuffed here, he does get a layup on his next try to push the lead to three. This leads Emmanuel quickly to hit this in a a shot. But moving forward here, the Celtics do get a huge steal, which leads to a Marcus Smart dunk. And then Boston holds on defensively and Jason Tatum hits a clutch game clincher. This means that the Boston Celtics once again advance to the conference finals. Although I have to say, look out for the Detroit Pistons as we continue forward here. And overall, the Mavericks and Celtics do both take care of business here, which sets up Jason Tatum versus Luka Doncic in the NBA finals. And if Luka is somehow able to get his first ring at 23 with back-to-back -back MVP under his belt already, he will become one of the greatest, if not the greatest young player the NBA has ever seen. And the Mavericks do end up winning game one in a game where Luka and Kemba both score over 40 points, which means now we're going to jump into game two, where Dallas is up 121 to 119 when Luka pushes the lead to four, and this shot gives him 55 points total on the game so far. This team would continue as both teams would trade shots, and then the Celtics are trying to keep this game within reach, and after a miss, Robert Williams gets the the putback and one makes the free throw and the score is now 125 to 124. On the next possession with Luka being face guarded in the corner, it is Seth Curry who has the ball. Curry gets a double screen and takes a chance for the biggest shot of his life. And as you can see, the little brother is about to get his moment to shine because the score is now 128 to 127 with Seth at the line. Enjoying this moment as he's been in Steph's shadow for a very long time. Finally, yes, Seth steps out of Steph Curry's shadow as he was a key factor in leading his team to an NBA Finals victory. And Dallas would go on to sweep the Boston Celtics overall as Luka averages a 42-point triple-double as he wins his first NBA Finals and, of course, his first NBA Finals MVP. And so there we have it, guys. Episode 1 is done and again. If you guys want to see Episode 2, I need to know the interest is there, so let's try to get 15,000 likes on this video. Also, again, make sure to subscribe and turn post notifications on so you don't don't miss when episode two is posted or any other video. Now, I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. A ton of work went into it. It is the closest thing to a what if that's been posted on this channel in a long time. And with that said, trust me, what ifs are coming back soon. Anyway, if you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for supporting. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day and cue that music. By the way, if you're still here while the music is queued, here are two videos I think you are going to love watching. All you have to do is just click on either one of them on the screen right here. And other than that, guys,
guys again have a great day and peace